There were several eye-opening moments at yesterday's confirmation hearing for Merrick Garland, including this one, when the candidate for AG was pressed by Senator Josh Hawley on demonstrations in Portland and other cities. Watch this. Do you regard assaults on federal courthouses or other federal property as acts of domestic extremism, domestic terrorism? Well, uh, Senator, um, my own definition, which is about the same as the statutory definition, is uh, the use of violence or threats of violence uh, in an attempt to uh, disrupt uh, democratic processes. So an attack on a, uh, uh, a courthouse while in operation, uh, trying to prevent judges from actually deciding cases that plainly is um, domestic uh, um, uh, extremism, um, 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 uh, uh, domestic uh, terrorism, um, an attack simply on a government property at night or any other kind of uh, circumstances is a clear crime and a serious one and should be punished. I don't mean, I don't know enough about the facts of the example you're talking about, but that's where I, I draw the line. One, one is both are uh, criminal. Um, uh, but one is uh, a core attack on our democratic institutions. Our panelists are here to react for you. We've got John Fleming, former Republican congressman from Louisiana and former assistant to President Trump. Political strategist Brian Lee, he's a former Republican congressional candidate. And Democratic strategist and attorney Kelly Hyman. Thank you all for being here. Kelly, I, I want to start with you on this one here. Just your reaction to, to Merrick Garland here drawing that distinction between the protesters in the places like Portland and so many others, but specifically the federal courthouse in Portland and those in January 6th there at the Capitol building. What did you make of Merrick Garland's response? I thought his response was on point. I mean, he is a high regarded judge um, that has great accolades and he was following the law based on the law and his interpretation. The question was very broad and, and vague, but under the law, he stated that they're both a crime and I do support that and believe that that is the case. Uh, John Fleming, is is that your reaction to, to the statement yesterday from Merrick Garland? Uh, it's a distinction without a difference. Uh, an attack on a federal building, whether it's in operation or otherwise, is an attack on the federal government. And that is extremism, that is terrorism, a domestic or otherwise. And that's what the statute says. So even himself, uh, he indicated that he had a different definition, at least on that day. Having been through a confirmation myself, I know that it's very intimidating and you don't want to make news. But the truth is, it doesn't matter which federal building, it's all the same. Brian Lieb, your thoughts? You know, I, I think it's uh, fantastic that, that Merrick Garland vows uh, to prosecute all the attackers on the Capitol. Uh, how about he takes the same vow to prosecute the thousands of Americans that were looting and burning our cities to the ground, the, the people that were burning police stations to the ground, burning small businesses to the ground? Make no mistake, what happened at the Capitol was certainly domestic terrorism. And what happened all last summer was also domestic terrorism. So why can't we call it all the same and treat everything the same? Fair point. Uh, there was also this moment that got a lot of people talking when Garland was asked if crossing the border illegally is a crime. He didn't really have an answer. Watch this. Well, I haven't thought about uh, that question. Uh, uh, I just haven't thought about that question. I, I, I think, uh, you know, the, the president has uh, made clear that we are a country of uh, with the borders and with a concern about national security. Um, I don't know of a proposal to uh, decriminalize but still make it uh, unlawful to enter. I just don't know the answer to that question. I haven't thought about it. Well, that moment has been met with criticism from those on the right. So, Kelly, I'll ask you, how are you viewing his answer there? I, I thought his answer was, was honest and sincere. Every country we don't dispute has a right to protect its borders. And as a U.S., we absolutely do. And so he is the enforcer of the law as the attorney general. And so I think that his answer was honest, truthful, and to the point. Kelly, I'm going to go back to you on this one because you're an attorney. I am not. So I'm hoping that you can clear something up. If I do something illegal, is that a crime? Right. Well, um, you are innocent until you're proven guilty, right? 
uh, from a criminal standpoint, but the prosecution has a burden to prove the case. And if and, and I'm not a criminal attorney, and I'm sure you won't be charged with any criminal crime. I hope not. Um, but ultimately, the jury will make a determination, and they believe that the prosecution presented its case. Then you are guilty of that crime. Uh, fair enough, John. I, I think you're getting my point. Uh, you can respond to that. Obviously, if I illegally cross a border, w could I be convicted of a crime? Well, I think it's appalling that someone who's up for attorney general doesn't know that it's against the law to break into this country, to go through the, the barriers, the fences, or whatever um, border protection that we have, doesn't know and understand that is breaking a, a law, a federal law in the United States of America. I find it appalling any attorney would not understand that. Brian, do you think that his response or lack of response, I guess you could really say, since he says he hasn't really looked into it or thought about it, uh, would be because he wouldn't want to misspeak in regards to sort of the Biden administration's agenda when it comes to immigration? You know, perhaps, uh, but, but Emma, he was pretty clear when he said earlier in, in his hearing that drug cartels are a major menace to our society. So who do we think are bringing a lot of these illegal immigrants over the border that are sadly a lot of them being repeat offenders for cases like murder, rape and robbery? It is the drug cartels that are helping to drive this illegal immigration into the United States. So he's, he can be very clear that drug cartels are bad for America, but he doesn't know or hasn't thought about whether or not he'll take a position on enforcing illegal immigrants coming through the border. Uh, it's, you know, unfortunately kind of the height of hypocrisy and something that I think we're getting used to with President Biden and with his nominees is that they say one thing and they do another thing. Uh, so which is it, Merrick? Uh, th this happened as well, this moment when Senator Chuck Grassley, Republican from Iowa, pressed Garland on whether he would commit to allowing special counsel John Durham uh, to continue his investigation into the origins of the Russia probe through the Biden administration. Here's that. Do you believe the Durham investigation is a legitimate investigation? Um, Senator, I... I don't know anything really about the investigation. You've read the Horowitz report. Do you think somebody should look at what happened? Well, I do think somebody should look at what happened with respect to those FISAs, absolutely. And I believe the inspector yeah. general has, and, and has done that. I go to John Fleming on that. And then also just pointing out, is it not standing out to anyone that he, there doesn't seem to be a lot of understanding. He doesn't seem to know a lot of the information about these current events because I, I, this was a Supreme Court nominee back in 2016. Just throwing it out there, John Fleming. Well, Mr. Garland knows exactly what is going on here. And Durham was appointed special counsel under Trump. And that goes into the next administration. It doesn't stop with uh, President Trump's end of his first term. And uh, to, to suggest that he doesn't know anything about it, he doesn't commit to staying with that. Uh, it, it, there's a hint there that he might support firing Durham, which would be a devastating mistake on their part. Just like with Mueller, uh, President Trump didn't fire Mueller. He let the report go. They investigated for two years and found nothing. So uh, he, he really should commit on this. And I, I'm, I'm very concerned about his answer. Perhaps there will be more clarity today as the hearing continues. John Fleming, Brian Lieb, and Kelly Hyman, we appreciate your insight and analysis as always. Thanks so much. Thank you. Be safe, stay healthy. Thank you. Thanks. All right. The